Hey guys, welcome back to my playthrough of Elden Rag. I hope you're all having a great freaking day. We're here at Castle Morn. Thanks for joining me, and if you are, please do consider the like, hitting the like and subscribe buttons in order to help out the channel, and maybe hit the bell icon to be notified whenever my new videos drop. And we are going to drop down this way. And we have almost completed Castle Mon. I think I hear a jingle bell. Hmm. There's a bucket right there on the end. Of course there is. We got some guys down in there, it looks like. This could be dicey. Can't get quite over that way, so we are indeed going to have to jump down. I don't know... boy. Okay, what do we got here? Looks like a torture room. We have one of the misbegotten right there. We got one out there. There's a guy. Um, these guys are, it looks like they're terrified. Either they're terrified or like that guy over there kind of looks like he's praising or something. These guys look like they're scared though. Pickle truck. Oh, son of a. You nasty. Oh, gross. Ah, oh, you son of a... Alright, I'm gonna deal with that thing in a minute. Let's deal with some of these guys out here so they don't aggro. Okay. So, it looks like we're good with that part. Looked like there was several health bars above this thing for a second, didn't it? That was weird. Oh, got me still. Oh, I hate these things. Oh, what did it do? <laughs> it looked like it just hooted or something. take out this guy. Are there any more of these things in here that I should watch out for? Jeez. Which way is he facing? Not that way. Alright, so he's dead. What do you have to say? Some guy in here is in a cage. Please help me. I'm of noble blood. If those hideous mongrels eat me, I'll be forever marred. Anything but that, please. Think of the disgrace. So once again, these mongrels. He must be referring to the misbegotten. And since he's saying he's a noble, then he would view the misbegotten as kind of these abominations. And so getting killed by him, or killed by them, would be even worse. Interesting, it looks like he has maybe some weird mushrooms growing around his body. Look at this one. What's he doing? He's just doing a jig while he's asleep. Like he's listening to his headphones and he's like, you know, doing a jig. Alright, let's see here. Anything hidden back here? No. I do still hear a jingle bell. Alright, let's take these guys out. They're only worth 61 runes, so not that much, to be honest with you. But, all in all, let's just go ahead and take care of them so they don't all wake up whenever we pass by. Sorry, guys. There's another one of these stupid things. Hang on a second. 
second. Ah, yeah. Mmm. Oh, just had to pop an energy drink. Stamina. One of my messages was appraised. Yay! Seventeen. Really nothing to write home about. Looks like we could hop down on that thing. Go over here first. Is there any place? No. Alright, let's see here. Oh, hey, you noticed me. Okay, great. You got me. Okay, roll, please. Oh, son of a bitch. Well, that sucks. That sucks. I, I rarely ever blame the game for anything, but I swear, there were several times there I was trying to actually roll, and I felt like I was hitting the button, but it didn't happen. Um, 95% of the time... Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, I survived. I forgot there was that gap there. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I survived that fall. I didn't even hurt me. Is it because I fell on one of those things? I was going to say, man, I just lost all those runes. So are these guys going to wake up? I don't think so. Let me go get my runes. I can't believe I survived that fall. Let me just go get these real fast. Away from this thick weed. Oh, the delay. Oh, the delay, dude. Good hits, man. Like, seriously. That was a close one. I mean, the delay that guy has on his swings. It's, it's very difficult. It's it's more difficult than it looks. It's like, jeez Louise, man. Oh, I don't want to deal with this dumbass blob. Yeah, it was about a thousand runes. I cannot believe. I just completely forgot there was the gap. You see, man, whenever you die and you get frustrated, oh, man, and you start trying to go back, you start making real stupid mistakes like that. It's really easy to do. What do we got? Give me something good. Twin Blade Talisman. I have to admit, this does not look familiar to me. Have I ever gotten this talisman before? It's very likely that I have missed some. Enhances final hit of chain attacks. I, I don't believe I've ever gotten this talisman. Because again, if you're new, this is my kind of technically second playthrough. And I played before on my PlayStation 4 while I'm playing now on my PC. And this was uh, years ago when it came out. A couple years now. And so I put in over 300 hours in that first playthrough. And now a couple years later I'm playing this now in order to get ready for the uh, Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC. But I don't think I've ever gotten that talisman. I am shocked. I wonder if it would be good. I mean... It would decrease my equip load. Enhances final hit of a chain. Let's try it. So a chain would be... Like, what's the final hit? 
like, because I can, I'm just spamming the right trigger. Enhances the final hit of a chain. Oh, we'll try it. We'll see if we notice anything. Let's, let's use it against this blob. Where's the blob? Did the blob end up just committing suicide? Where's the blob? No, it's over there. Let's see. Oh, that would be it. I think. The problem with this is... That final hit there... It's so rare to get to it because a lot of times you'll hit an enemy and you get one or two hits in, but then you need to dodge because they're gonna hit back. So that's actually really not that great. Mm. Okay. Where's the jingle bell? So we went up there. I guess I could hop down here. Bloodstain. How'd this guy die? He's fighting someone. Something killed him on this thing. I bet it was that big guy with the axe. Where's the jingle bell? It's right there. It's one with the red ones. I have... Ooh, I, you know what? I kind of need it. Let's... Is hopping down just the best way to get down there? Kind of, sort of, looks like it. Let's hop down and attack. <laughs> uh, teardrop scarabs. There are both crimson and cerulean teardrop scarabs. Defeat them to replenish the flask that match their type. However, you cannot replenish more flask than your maximum amount allows. All right, we're back up to three, baby. First off, not here. Could this be a jumping off? So we are going to go down there and you can see the fog wall from here. Got some jellyfish too. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. And there's the arena, I guess. Okay. Anything else? We have an item. Tarnish Golden Sunflower. Alright. Huh. Got some blood stains here. How'd this guy die? Ran over here as a chick. She ran that way. And then just jumped off and died. Where did she try to jump off? Oh, she jumped right down into that hole right there, didn't she? And she just plummeted and died. So we don't want to do that. We want to just easily hop right here. Ah, I can't judge her. Easy thing to do. If you're rushing. And, um... Hop on this thing. Because this is, as you can see, yeah. She probably dove all the way down to the bottom. Steep drop if you're not careful. Smithing stone 2. We still need one more smithing stone 1. What is that, a rat? There's a misbegotten. Let's kill the rat. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. This is bad. Okay. Hey, I'm sorry. Were you doing something? Die. Those rats are a pain in the ass. Ugh. 
Man, now I have to use another freaking flask. Ah, oh, we still haven't even made it to the boss. I don't think there's a side of grace over here either. Jeez. Jeez, the... Oh, I'll be damned. There is, isn't there? I'll be damned. The game has been gracious. Gracious. Thank you, game. I actually... I really didn't know there was a side of grace there. I was thinking we'd have to just... Make do. Thank you, game. Being very kind. Whip! Visions of Master. Yep. Let's try the whip. Let's check out the whip. Scales with strength and dexterity. Weak. A leather whip, not originally used for combat, but is an instrument of pain. Though its supple attacks cannot be thwarted by parrying or even guarding. It is incapable of dealing critical hits. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty weak weapon. But I suppose if you're torturing slaves, it's, it'll be sufficient. So the misbegotten out here have indeed received some cruel enslavement. Be wary of left. Why is it always ill-omed creature? Oh god, it's a big one too. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. Well, we're probably gonna need to do this. Uh, you know, no. Let's go ahead and take these guys out now. We got one over there too. He's probably gonna wake up, isn't he? Oh, this guy's just gonna make wake up immediately. Wow, that was a good hit. Alright. Get him over here. Deal with this guy first, I guess. Oh, nope. I didn't realize that was a flying one. Alright, where's Big Mama? Where'd he go? Oh, he's down there. He must have fell off. Okay. Throwing dagger. We gotta kill him at least once. Duck. Hi. Oh god. This guy's crafty, man. Right, that's it for that. Damn it! That delay, man. That freaking delay. Oh my gosh. It's hard to time that. Freaking delay. Uh, okay, let's go drop down and get our rooms. If we just drop from up here, would it hurt us? Nope. Alright, there's no real need to fight that thing. I mean, I suppose he may drop something. There's always a chance. Oh, check it out. Material ahead. Didn't expect layer. Somber smithing stone. Try not to fall off into the water. No running ahead. Look, we can see the bo uh, boss from here. That guy. Check him out. He's a big badass misbegotten. You rarely get to a chance to see the boss like that on the other side before you have to deal with him. What are these guys? Are they guarding something? He just ran right off, didn't he? 
<laughs> he ran off into the river. Okay. Let's see if there's anything over here. Got some itty bitty baby crabs. Probably a big mama crab is about to show up. Yep, I thought so. Uh huh. It's always the case. Now we've yet to kill one of these things. Oh boy. Climb! Climb! <laughs> that was so close! <laughs> Alright. Can we cheese it? <laughs> I like cheese with my sandwich. He gave us 300 rooms. Um, 300 and... Oh, son of a... Okay, we're okay. That's not bad. Alright, let's go back over here and see what it was guarding. <laughs> I like a little bit of cheese with my sandwich. We're killing its baby crabs. Yeah! 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 Fire arrows! Alright. Not bad. Not bad. How many runes? We got almost 2,000. Mm. I'm not overly fond of the idea of going into the boss battle with 2,000 runes. But I suppose if we do die, we can easily come right back. Let's go over here, see if there's anything. God, I love this environment. Man, just look at it. Just listen to the music. Well, the music shuts off right as I say that. Complete silence. Oh, now it's back. I don't know, man. Like the, like I've said it, it's just like the weeping peninsula here and just exploring this area. Like it's very melancholy. But at, once you start getting through, you know, and you start progressing through the game, you really start to miss this areas like this and Limgrave and stuff. It's, I don't know, just something about the simplicity of it. Um. Well, I guess we've got all our stuff. What are you guys saying? Weak foe ahead. Dog ahead. Liar ahead. Craft a few more of these. Um, can't even craft fire arrows. Fire bone arrows. Fire bone arrow fletched. Which I guess is better. Um. All right, we got these equipped. We've got some bone darts. Uh, they don't do a lot of damage. We can't even make any more. We're all out of beast bones. And we got one of these pots. We got our summon. I think we're all set and ready to go. We don't have our bow equipped. I don't know if that would matter. Could we equip a bow? Without it being over encumbered? No, we could not. We are not strong enough for that. Unless... Unless we unequip the torch. Let's see. We could. Now, we can't use this until we're stronger. We would need enough faith for that, too. But we could equip this bow. Which isn't bad. And we have... 
basic arrows, bone arrow, and then the fire arrows. If we need to do any long range stuff. Alright. Let's do it. Let's get in here and try this. Oh, we can summon someone. We can summon the commander here. Yeah, let's go ahead and summon him for some help. I don't normally do this, but sometimes... Well, you know, if it's a game NPC, I like to do it. Because it's like, you know, why not? Castilian Edgar. Even though this is an NPC. It's tradition. Hey! Really, you're not going to wait back? You're just going to turn your back on me? Castellian Ed Edgar? Come on, Edgar. Let's go in here and whoop this thing's ass. Oh my gosh, I don't have enough. Great. Get his attention while I summon my summons. There we go. They use a lot more than I thought. Of a bitch. I guess I was getting kind of careless there. Well, let's try it again. Where am I? Let's unequip the bone dart since I just ran out of all those in that battle. Oh, I have throwing daggers. That's not bad. We'll save those. Um. Let's get rid of that pot that right there that does holy damage too. I don't know how much damage this uh, fire is going to do on this guy. Can we just hop down right here? Alright. Now, I do need to get my runes when I go back in here. Can we resummon Edgar? And Because, yeah. Coming. Uh, the brick thing interrupted him. Hey, we used our new spell. Great enemy fell. Grafted blade greatsword. Good job, Edgar. I think you did a good job, man. So long. Um, we have some kind of ability on us. I think it was something Edgar was casting. Now, we got this new sword. It is. A big-ass sword. The storied sword of Castle Morn. A Ravenger's weapon. It is burdened with oceans of anger and regret. One of the legendary armaments. A lone surviving champion from a country now vanished was so determined to continue fighting that he claimed the swords of an entire clan of warriors. It's a legendary weapon. Unique skill, Oath of Vengeance. Swear an oath upon the greatsword to avenge the clan, temporarily rising all attributes for a certain duration. While the oath's effects are activated, poise will also be increased. We need 40 strength in order to wield this. 
Now, I remember that beast thing that we just fought. I remember he was the one who was wielding that sword in my first playthrough. But it looked like he just had a giant regular broadsword. Or uh, a claymore or something like that. So I'm not sure what the deal is. He just... Maybe he wasn't strong enough to wield it? Or what? But, um... Like, if you got a sword like that, why aren't you wielding it? Because that is not the sword he had that he was fighting us with. I don't think... I don't know. Do I have enough to level up? Look around. We got a graveyard out here, it looks like. No clear sky ahead, therefore let there be tranquility. Oh, I can't summon Torin. This is a really nice spot right here. Calmness. Yeah, I agree. This really is nice. Oh, there's a lot of uh, messages out there. I really don't want to fall. Enemy, oh enemy. Can you imagine what's out there beyond the sea? Man, look at that. Just keeps going and going. Help me. Low lover required ahead. <laughs> Look at all these people leaving messages. Well, we have to do it ourselves, don't we? We have to fall in line. First off. So lonely, that's perfect. There we go. First off, so lonely. There I am. <laughs> Alright. If only I had a lover. Therefore, time for jumping off. <laughs> that's clever. <laughs> Enemy ahead. All right, so we have successfully beaten the beast. You know, once again, I forgot to look at what the dumb thing's name was. Maybe if he would have killed me a few more times, he would have had my respect. And what is this thing? Is it a giant gravestone? Like, what is this a gravestone to? Or is it just a monument? Well, let's rest. And we are shy to be able to level up. Okay. That's Castle Morn for you guys. That is the completion of this castle. And we have... Look, there's some people out here. Look at that. Who are these two ladies? They look like ladies to me. I wonder if we are able to actually see them. <laughs> it would crack me up if we saw a boat with two chicks on it out there. I seriously doubt that would be the case. But they are in this direction, aren't they? We're facing right at that direction. Well, guys, do you see any boat with two chicks on it? No. That would be funny. Um, Alright, so we're going to leave Castle Morn. And we're going to fast travel back here. Uh, no. Actually, back here. The Bridge of Sacrifice. Weeping Peninsula. Ah, and here we go. As you can see... We have a gruesome sight here. Sadness. We have Edgar here, who made it back to his daughter, only to find her dead. And she's lying in a pool of her own blood, and based off the weapon that is in the ground, it looks like one of the misbegotten ended up getting to her. Greena. How could this be? My daughter deserved better. 
The fault lies with me. I chose duty over my daughter's safety. And that is how fate has answered. It is true, to be honest with you. Even Arena said that. He decided he would stay at Castle Morn because it would be the right thing to do, but... He wasn't able to be here to protect his daughter. I'll find them. The foul wretch is responsible for this. I'll hunt them down and exterminate every last one of them. Rest assured, Arena, it will be done. I'll find the foul. I'll hunt them down. So, rest assured. I don't believe this will be the last we see of Edgar. No, I believe we will run into him again. But for now, now that we've taken care of that, um, Castle Morn has been explored. And, oh, look, we, we, man, I picked up several more smithing stones from somewhere, and I just completely don't remember where, but we have enough to level up the axe, finally. Let's go back to the church and do that, and then we're going to, well, we're going to go back to the Weeping Peninsula and continue to explore around there. Okay, it is a plus one. We're going to make it a plus two. So it'll be 148. And we need six level one smithing stones, which we do not have. We need six of them. Still, it's a plus... It's a plus two at the moment, I believe. So it's pretty good. It's pretty good. You got anything new to say, Kali? Ah, always a pleasure. And you you know, um mm, I don't quite have enough to level up. Let's buy some arrows off of you though. Twenty for just one arrow. That way I have them. You do sell bolts. Goodbye. Alright. Okay. Now let's go back down. L um, hmm. Where do I want to go? <clears throat> There's a merchant here. We could go to this merchant and then start going over here to the left. And we can go up this way. And then back down around here and kind of explore this area. Because we haven't explored any of this. Let's do that. If this merchant has anything. Any anything new? Any new smithing stones or anything? Hello there. Trade again. Nope. You got this stone sword key though. Uh, that does come in handy. Oof, do I really want to use my runes for that? I think I might want to use my runes. Uh, you got some new armor and stuff too. I think I might want to use my runes to go back and get another sorcery from selling. Now that I've got some. You know what I mean? I mean... Yeah, let's go do that. Then we'll come back here. Uh, we will forego leveling up. Which one do we get, though? Maybe we'll get the one that's the sword. There you are. Shall we commence? Let's see what we need. We can get this one. We do have enough intelligence for this. Twenty-two for this. We could get the shield or this. Oh, we do have enough intelligence for this one too, don't we? Let's... This one's probably going to be much more powerful. They pursue the opponent. Um... I want to try this one out, though. 3,000. Let's try it. And that's going to be it for that. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to switch our wand... Back into our left hand. And we're going to have to equip the spell... Switch it out with this one. 
We want to try it, man. We want to try it out. Oh, now it's glowing. And it'll do extra magical damage. Oh, that's cool. That's so cool. Well, I don't know how long it'll last. Probably not too long. All right, let's fast travel back down here again. And we'll try that out. That might be very helpful in boss battles. We'll see. All right. All right. So let's go up this way. And keep exploring. So I'm assuming it will do magical damage. Did we read it? I don't think we read it, did we? Some of these we have not read. Um, of uh, Glintstone Sorceries of Rylacaria. Enchantments armament held in the right hand with a magic affinity attacks. It can be cast while in motion. Taught to the Knights of the Cuckoo by the Academy as payment for their contract. So the Cuckoo Knights, I believe, are mercenary knights that the Academy hired. Mm, didn't they hire them in order to push back some of the forces of the Carrions? Because some of the Carrions studied sorceries too. Um, how did that work? I know the Cuckoo Knights were like these mercenary knights. And they learned these spells and sorceries, but they were kind of like cheap. You know what I mean? Oh, we didn't read this one. Um, even among the Carrion Sword Sorcerers, or sorceries, this is a notably effective technique. Yeah, so this is from the Carrion. The, the glint stones are from those who studied at Rylacaria, and then the Carrions are kind of this noble family. Um, what's her name? Princess Rani and her mom, who's one of the demigods, two of the demigods, they're from the Carrions. Ranala. And Ranala ended up going to the academy itself and she became i think in charge of the academy uh oh what's what's that sound that i hear oh it's that boar i thought something was chasing me for a second we'll meet ranala later but we have already met ronnie the witch she was the one who gave us the bell to be able to summon creatures apparently it belonged to torrent's former master which we have no idea who that is a tarnished who's long dead. Alright, so here's that break in the wall that we saw before. And we're coming across a village. Yellow Ember. Now this is interesting. Found in lands afflicted by frenzy. An ember taken from the eye socket of a corpse. Material used for crafting. A sign that the deceased suffered from the flame of frenzy. This grape has been ripened and burst. So, the grapes, I forget what they're called. Jahiri grapes or something like that? They're actually the eyes that have been afflicted by the yellow frame of frenzy. And the frenzy... Uh, comes from an outer god, like somewhere out in space or something. Something like that. Oh, hey! And so these rats are afflicted with frenzy. Um, I don't need to use this right now. And as you can see, they are afflicting frenzy on me. Now, if that meter goes all the way up, I'm not quite sure what happens. Do I immediately die? I think I just receive a huge amount of frenzy damage. Like, I freak out and my mind blows up or something. But I don't think I immediately die. Um, but the outer god of frenzy... Uh, no one, I think, knows a lot about him. But he controls the frenzied plane. Isn't that right? It has something to do with the three fingers. The two fingers 
are, well, these two giant fingers that are obedient to the Golden Order. Let's go around this way and see what's down there. And they listen to what the Golden Order tells them, and they're like, I don't know. They work on the behalf of the Golden Order, and we'll meet the two fingers later. And we'll come across these crones that tell us more about them. But the three fingers are like an abomination. And the three fingers have something to do with the frenzied flame. The frenzied flame and the three fingers and this outer god of the frenzied flame, they're all like connected somehow. Yeah. You have no idea how lucky you are. Alright. Let's go back. Go back to this village, this hut. The tree is stopping me. So this is... Wasn't there like a whole village over here? So you got a guy who's dead here. Looks like these rats killed him. Be wary of rat. I think there's more houses though, isn't there? There's probably more rats. I think I even hear them. Is that a rat? It is. I of below. Another one. That's interesting. Hello. Somehow that rat did not notice me. They're everywhere. Oh, yeah, they're everywhere, all right. All right. You bitch. Oh, God. I'm trying to use my bow. Oh, die, die, die. Oh, jeez. I have to use a thingamajiggy. I need to unequip this bow. So I don't accidentally use it again. This rat's moving around like crazy. Hello. Well, my flasks have been replenished, so that's good. And here we have somebody. Hi. Someone who's afflicted by frenzy. As you can tell by his yellow eyes. I can summon. Might as well make things a little bit easier to deal with all these people. Got a guy up there. Got some guys over here. Ailing Village. Alright, guys. The moment somebody starts attacking us, go loose. Look at this guy. Look at the way they're standing. Like they're just going insane. Brutal. Brutal on my part. Got some rats over here. These guys look like they found another enemy. They have. Gold tinged excrement. Well, we gotta pick that up. Oh, we found another church. Nice. Hi. I mean, there's really no need for us to be able to summon here. These guys are so weak. Let's see what's inside the church. Oh, I say that. It looks like there's a lot of rats inside here and a big fat mama rat over there. I'm getting careless here. The 
the big one dead? About to be. There we go. Good job, guys. Looks like everyone survived. Well done. Big Mama Rat is dead. Let's make everything easier. The Flame of Frenzy. Oh, nice. Sacred Tear. What do we use those for again? Don't they, like, increase the potency or something like that? Alright. Our summons are about to disappear. Let me look back around and make sure there's nothing else in the village that we need to loot before these guys go away. What are these guys saying? Beware of group. Be wary of madness. Where'd this guy come from? I guess he just spawned in front of me. Um... Is that everything in this village? And we can't go inside of any of these places, I don't think. They're all boarded up. There's an item. There's a rat over there. You guys deal with the rat. Flame Crest Wooden Shield. Help me deal with the rat, guys. He's right there. Oh, you guys are useless. Alright. Let's read some of this stuff. So, we have the Flame of Frenzy. Incantation originating from the Maddening Three Fingers causes the Yellow Flame of Frenzy to burst forth from the caster's eyes. Charging increases the range of the burst. The Flame of Frenzy deals damage and causes buildup of madness. This incantation also causes buildup of madness in the caster and is only effective against Tarnished. <laughs> so if I'm ever fighting another Tarnished, which does happen a few times, then I suppose I could use this, but otherwise it's worthless. And then we have... Sacred Tear. Blessing of the Ur Tree. Worshipped in the churches of all the lands. This is but a faint vestige. Increases the potency of a sacred flask. Restorative effects. Can be used after resting at a site of grace. During the age of the Ur Tree, these tears were used to spread the faith of theirs was once a certain blessing. Did we read... Yeah, we, we did read this one. And... We picked up a shield, didn't we? A tall, medium-sized wooden shield, light for its size and easy to handle, carried by soldiers of the village that is afflicted by frenzy. So it seems to be a, a specific to, it says the village. Um, it may be specific to this one. Now there are other villages that are afflicted by frenzy. So I don't know if it's just this one, but um, or all of those, but we'll see. The yellow flame is the symbol of the affliction, serving as a warning to those who might approach the village. How does that stack up with what I have equipped? It's not nearly as good. Still, you know, why don't we uh, switch it up? It's a little bit lighter in the weight. And I know it's not as good, but I like to try out different stuff. We'll switch back to this later. We'll try out this shield right now for a little bit. And I want to try to use my variety. Use a lot of different variety in this playthrough and see what we can manage. Um, there was one other thing I wanted to do. So, the maps that we pick up, the maps themselves actually have descriptions. Where are they? Where do you find the maps? Here they are. So, we have Limgrave. I don't remember if we've read this. The Dimis... Dimisni? Oh, I don't know how to pronounce that word. Of Limgrave. Uh, far south of the Ur Tree is bordered to the northwest by the cliffs of Stormvale 
and under its ever-clouded skies roll the great steppes of the Pale Lands. And then we picked up the one for the Weeping Peninsula. The peninsula to Limgrave South is named for its unceasing rainfall, red redolent of lament. There you go. There you have it. Now, one thing I think I might want to change, um, I need to remember, is whenever I go to a side of grace, I know this weapon has a skill on it, but I think we can equip something else, like we could with that other weapon. And the skill that's currently on this weapon sucks. Likely, you don't have the right. So, I want to maybe re-equip something like Storm Stomp on this, because I think that'll be a lot more useful. Here we go. What do you got? Golden Rune 2. Oh, here's another guy over here. What was that? Sounded like someone punched the ground. Alright. Can you guys help me defeat this guy? Oh, wow. Never mind. Alright, my summons are gonna disappear. I hear a jingle bell. Where is the jingle bell? Is he down there? Oh, look, we could go down this way. Ooh. But where? Oh, the jingle bell's way down over there. Hmm. Hmm. Check it out. That, oh man, check it out, the minor Erd tree. You'd think it was a hard thing to miss, and then I looked up and thought, oh wow, it's right there. Okay, so we've gone down here. There is a cave down there, but we can go down this way into this valley and explore this cave. Here's the ailing village that we just visited. Uh, let me just kind of roam the border of this area right here really fast to make sure I don't miss anything. And then we'll progress downward into that ravine and check out that cave and do some more alchemy gathering too okay. oh I'll be damned check it out it's a side of grace up here and this is why we explore now if I rest it'll bring back everyone in that village let's just activate it so that we know where it is And all right, got another frenzy, flamey thingy. Uh, eyeball or squashed eyeball. Oh, here we go. We got some friends. Can deal with these guys. Let's see. How do I want to go about this? Probably backstab one, I'm thinking. Are they misbegotten? They're the misbegotten that can fly. Oh, damn it. He noticed me. Let me get into the tall grass. There we go. All right. Take care of this guy. All right, guys. He's dead. All right. And... Looks like this one just does not have a care in the world, does he? He's like, screw this. He just... Ooh, misbegotten short bow. Nice. <laughs> this guy's like, I'm just taking a nap. <laughs> Sorry to wake you up. Your friends are dead, though, just so you know. There's the merchant, and there's the gate. Let's check out this bow. Um, short bow wielded by winged misbegotten. Fine fur clings to it, designed to inflict additional damage by sacrificing range. Okay, so it's kind of a short-ranged short bow. Interesting. Um, just a little bit of extra damage, but you can't shoot it very far. Misbegotten short bow. Alright, I'm going to end this episode there, and when we come back, we're going to explore and probably go in that cave down there. 
Guys, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. And of course, thank you so much for watching and have a great freaking day.